In this video, I have a super quick tutorial for you showing how to create an AI for your PDF with Langchain, RagFusion, and GPT-40 to make a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. RagFusion improves traditional search systems by overcoming their limitations through a multi-query approach. GPT-40 is a higher-end model of GPT-4 Turbo announced on May 14, 2024. The O in GPT-40 is an abbreviation for Omni. Omni is a Latin prefix that means all, whole, omnidirectional. Therefore, when compared to GPT-4 Turbo, which until now could only handle text and images, it can be said to be a multimodal AI that can also input voice. However, it is only partially possible to meet user needs with RAG and further evolution is required. In this video, we will focus on RAG Fusion how the retrieval augmented generation fusion process works and what the features of GPT-40. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, Let's get right back into the video. The idea is to generate multiple queries derived from the original query, re-rank, order, the search results for each query using an algorithm called reciprocal rank fusion and extract those with a high degree of relevance. The method is very simple. The key points are to first have LLM, generate similar queries and to re-rank the chunks obtained by vector search for each query. By generating multiple similar queries in step one, you can pick up a wide range of related chunks when performing a vector search. Also, by performing re-ranking in step three, you can preferentially select chunks that rank high in many queries. Compared to RAG, which only uses normal vector search, processing time and costs are increased because the step of generating similar queries involves contacting the LLM. However, since similar query generation requires fewer input and output tokens, the increase in processing time and cost is small. In traditional search systems, users often enter a single query to find information, but this approach has limitations. A single query may not capture the full scope of what your users are interested in or may be too narrow to provide comprehensive results. Therefore, it is important to generate multiple queries from different perspectives. The key difference between RAG and RAG Fusion lies in their approach to query generation and result processing. While RAG relies on a singular query input, RAG Fusion amplifies this by generating multiple queries, providing a richer context for the search. GPT-4 is used in a wide range of applications, including creative writing, complex data analysis, and customer support automation, and is particularly effective in situations where response accuracy is required. On the other hand, GPT-40 is ideal for use in chatbots, interactive applications that require real-time processing and resource-constrained IoT devices. Here is, the table compares the performance of GPT-4 and GPT-40. Let's get started to get started. You do need to download a couple of different Python libraries, namely PIPDF, Chrome ADB, Langchain OpenAI, and Langchain Operator, and argparse if you haven't already done so, can simply type. Once you have done that, let's head on over to a Python file. We will be making use of all Python library. Let's set up to perform document retrieval and query tasks using GPT-40 API. Then we set up an embedding model to text embedding three. We initialize an argument parser object, which will be used to handle command line arguments provided to the script. Define retriever options. Top K specifies the number of top results to return from a search or retrieval operation. Max docs for context the maximum number of documents to use for providing context in a retrieval or query response. Document PDF. Copy the path of the local. Then we create a template prompt. Please answer the question using only the following information. If there is no information available to answer the question, do not force an answer. Information, question, and final answer. Set up a function called load and split document. Read the text documents from PDF, then split the documents into chunks. We create a function name vector retriever, load and split the document, create the text embedding and store them in a database. We can add new information to the same by passing the new information to the vector database. Next, we perform a vector search for each 
query to find similar documents, followed by a re-ranking of these documents. For re-ranking, we use reciprocal rank fusion, which relies on similarity ranks. The score of document D in reciprocal rank fusion D is calculated based on the rank of document D, denoted as rank ID, and the hyperparameter K. The hyperparameter K affects the reciprocal rank fusion scoring. The higher the value of K, the flatter the score curve, which increases the influence of documents with lower ranks. Typically, K460 is often used, and I am adopting this value in my current analysis. The function to calculate reciprocal rank fusion is named reciprocal rank fusion. For testing purposes, I am displaying the scores, but I am only returning a list of document chunks because the content of these chunks is all that needs to be passed as context to the LLM. Since each of the four similar queries retrieves five chunks, the total number of chunks can reach 20. However, as this creates an excessive amount of context, only the top ranked chunks are used. The maximum number of documents passed as context, max docs for context, is set to 8. The next function query got generator generates similar queries. It works by inserting the original query, original query into a prompt and asking the language learning model to generate a similar query. The original code only used the prompt, generate multiple search queries related to original query. This approach produced fairly broad queries. To narrow down the results, I have updated the prompt to include a directive. When creating queries, please refine or add closely related contextual information without significantly altering the original query's meaning. Next, we have the reciprocal rank fusion retriever function, which performs a vector search using multiple similar queries. The function create retriever splits the document, creates a vector store using Chroma technology, and returns a retriever object details are available in the code repository. Vector searches are conducted as follows. Runnable lambda query generator generates similar queries as previously described. Using a retriever dot map, we perform a vector search for each of the four similar queries generated by query generator, including the original query. The map function retrieves five chunks for each query. Finally, we apply reciprocal rank fusion to re-rank the results, which will be detailed in the next section. The entire process of the rag fusion query is defined as a function. It functions similarly to a standard retrieval augmented generation, but if you use reciprocal rank fusion retriever instead of a standard vector search, it adapts to perform rag fusion. If a normal vector search retriever is used, it will conduct a regular vector search. The chain's definition might seem complex, but this complexity arises because we aim to output not just the LLM's answer, but also the context provided. Essentially, the process involves simply connecting the retriever to the prompt to the model. We create the main function that acts as the entry point of the script, which controls the flow based on the input parameters, uses a retriever function for different types of search tasks, and finally outputs the result of these operations. I tried rag fusion, which uses reciprocal rank fusion for re-ranking. In addition to the PDF introduced in this video, I tried loading all the PDFs on my own PDF, but my subjective evaluation is as follows. When the original query is simple, such as what is, with only one word, it is possible to pick up surrounding information by generating similar queries, which tends to lead to a wider range of answers. If the original query is specific, it is not much different from normal vector search. When it comes to complex questions that actually ask multiple questions, the probability of being able to answer them without missing anything increases by breaking down the questions using similar queries. When generating similar queries, the width needs to be adjusted with prompts. Since it generates similar queries, I feel that it has a great effect on enriching the final answers to simple questions.